Hey guys, this is Libby here and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to draw this adorable cute pineapple. So uh, yeah, what we're going to need is a black marker. I am using a Sharpie, fine pointed permanent marker and uh, yeah, I'm also going to be using um, my nicely coloured green permanent marker and also my yellow so I'm going to put those colour ones down there and yeah let's get started uh, let me just move my piece of paper back into the camera <laughs> uh, so I can draw me. and uh, yeah so what we want to start with is this outline here so uh, we're going to be doing the leaves last because it can get a little bit complicated so don't worry if you don't get this first try I did not at all so what we want to start with is just I'm gonna follow my line over to here and we're just going to go down to however big you want your pineapple to be I want mine pretty big and then we want to carry on this line going over here so we want it to be sort of like an oval and then mm, that messed up a little bit there but that's okay and now we just want to connect this bottom bit like so isn't very ovalish but this is like that and then this is like web but still so now we want to move on to the face features before we move on to these here. So we want to do the eyes. So we want two big circles. You can do whatever type of eyes you want. But I like to do these eyes. What I did on the ear. So we want to do that and then we just want to colour the rest of this in. But I did also while I was uh, trying different eyes out to see which one looks best. I also found uh, a cool one where you just do that. And then that again and then colour around this. That's if you don't want it to look too cute and you want it more boyish. Maybe your brother or something or if you're a boy who's watching my video and you're learning how to draw this. You might want to do this type of eye. So I'm going to do this one. And we just want to colour around on this. And then touch up around the edges and also touch up on the highlights maybe you want it a bit smaller like I do like so, so it looks pretty good I think and you don't have to add this moustache here but I'm going to so we want to put the mouth here at the bottom now yes it looks like a potato at the moment but we want to add this moustache like so and then we want to colour it in like so that's one side done You can add any type of features on the face that you want. Maybe you want to add some freckles. But yeah, I think I think that looks pretty good. Now we're moving on to these bits here. So I'm going to move my paper down so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. And then from the top, we want to put a little dot there. Uh, that's the dot there. And we just want to uh, bring this bit 
out in a big curve like that and same on the other side now you could leave it like that but I wouldn't recommend leaving it like that you will now want to bring it down a bit and then make it go fat type of thing into a thin and the same again so fatter into thinner and then what you want to do is you want to bring it up again and do that again and like that cool and then you want to add that little top bit there and then your drawing bit is completely done now we're on to the colouring so yeah Troy what do you think of the uh, Mr Cool pineapple? Cool. Do you like these tune bombs? No. I got you a pack. Well she got a free pack. Oh well. So now we've got this the outline of it done and the face features now we want to add the colour so let's get our yellow or orange I do prefer yellow and then we just want to go around everything and my marker is a little bit crazy it does go orange but I think that adds a little bit just a little bit more detail to it for some reason it just looks kind of cool it only does it every so often though but you don't want it everywhere do you so now if your marker doesn't do this then you could just add a little bit of red or orange to it in some places but I don't mean to do it like this, it just happens like this. But I think it looks kind of cool most of the time, so. There's that. Tricky, close my door. So now we've got the yellow bit done, you can colour in the eyes. But are uh, like not the black bit, but these spiky bits here, if you want to. But I, I don't want to. And Troy is here. And now we want to colour in these bits. So it's only been seven minutes, Troy, and I've already done all of this. Uh, I'm gonna actually turn my paper around a bit, guys, just so it makes it a bit easier for me to colour it in. Why are you doing it with that side? Why don't you do it with a thicker? Because I don't want to mess it up. Now you could do different shades of green for each different leaf, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it simple and cute. Because I think if you add a bit too much detail, it does. It just loses its cuteness. Like on this one here, I added these detailed bits and it didn't come out too this great. You didn't, you didn't follow what I said. Instead of doing them, why don't you do lines across that and then lines across it again to make diamonds in it. So then it'll look like an actual pineapple. Yeah, because that's just in the netting. Not an no, because remember pineapples... I are remember, Troy. This has a moustache. It's not an actual pineapple at all. Uh-oh, my battery is low. <laughs> Is it still going? Yeah. So there we go, guys. That is the cutest pineapple that I could come up with. It has a moustache. It has the cute eyes. I didn't do the cute eyes on this one because that was just a test to go and it came out pretty good. So I thought I'll add the cute eyes in the video and it looks adorable. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Whoa.